Long-standing event honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. went to a virtual format tonight because of the pandemic. The partnership between GVSU, Davenport University, and GRCC brought in a well-known journalist who has spent years covering social justice issues. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has more on how she sees the state of the country. This year's keynote speaker, Yamish Alcindor, is the White House correspondent for the PBS NewsHour and a contributor to MSNBC. Her message was of hope, but also of the challenges ahead to fight racism in America. The coronavirus pandemic may have changed the medium. Actions and his profound words remind us even in today's time. But it didn't stop the 35th year this event has paid tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his legacy. As the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as foods. Yami Center with PBS NewsHour. Um, on the campaign trail, you called... This year brought White House correspondent Yami Alcindor, who spoke of covering the battle for social justice and the recent raid by far-right extremist groups on the U.S. Capitol. I'm especially grateful um, to speak to you and to speak to your students and your faculty members um, as we all are, are really wondering what is going on in our country and, and also on a day like today where we're all wondering what would Martin Luther King Jr. have said. Alcindor says the attack on the Capitol on January 6 shows the danger facing our country and highlights the need to not give in to systemic racism. What we're dealing with right now is life and death situations. No, this period is really forcing us to look at the virus of white supremacy coursing through every aspect of our nation and making us reckon with what kind of country we want to be. The journalist looking back to the 60s and how Dr. King's words still resonate today. As a reminder, King said, history will not will have to record that the greatest tragedy of this period of social transition was not the strident clamor of the bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people. Also sending a message to many people who quote him yet deter justice and do not understand who he was, referencing words shared by Dr. King's daughter, Bernice King. Let's remember in this Martin Luther King day, not to romanticize who Martin Luther King was. He was someone who wanted radical change, who made people uncomfortable, who was arrested, who was assassinated. For In Kalamazoo, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.